Sympathizers have begun thronging the residence of the national leader of Afeni Ferry, Pa Ruben Fashionoti, to commiserate with him over the death of his second daughter, Olufunke Olakuri, who was killed on Friday by unknown gunmen along Ore Expressway. On Friday, TBC News correspondent Ayodeji Muradeo was there and now reports. This is the residence of the factional leader of Afeni Ferry, Ruben Fashionoti, whose second daughter, Olufunke Olakuni, was killed by gunmen along Ore Road on Friday. Sympathizers of different shades, including governors, are converging on his residence to condole with the 93 year old politician. In spite of their political differences, they are united in their call for better security architecture. It's a tragic uh, situation for us, and we just have to do something about this. Rescue our One tragedy too many. Despite our constant cry for safety and security of our people. This is a reminder, it's a wake-up call that we must, we must confront this monster. It's a major challenge. Undoubtedly, a death to me, and uh, all of us are worried. Some measures must have to be taken. The murder of Ulufunke by gunmen and identities of the killers are generating reactions. Our driver and domestic staff witnessed how she was killed. They gave their account of how it happened. We had a stopover to buy soft drinks at Ore. We were attacked at Ore toll gate by some masked men who emerged from the bush. At this point, Madame asked me to reverse, which I did. They started shooting at us and other vehicles. In the process, my boss was hit by bullets. Some of us in the vehicle escaped. We later rushed out to the hospital where she gave up the ghost. As Lele took the, the bomb, so we would not enter inside the bush. So from there they took our madam. We don't know about, we don't know as it's in we would not enter bush. The issue of who carried out the attack is generating ripples. Factional spokesman of Afeni Ferry, Ian Kaudumaki, in a statement he made available to reporters, pointed accusing fingers at Earthmen. This is against the position of the state police command. Police spokesperson in the state, Femi Joseph, said the command is investigating the case. We want to plead with our people to exercise caution. Uh, these people that committed this act, as I said, are mere criminal. We, they are mere criminals. They are criminals who, who only engage in, uh, in robbery, in kidnapping. The presidency has also reacted to the killing of Fashionati's daughter. President Mahmoud Dubari, in a text message by his special advice on the media and publicity, Femi Adishina on Twitter said President Buhari condoles with Afeni Ferry leader over the murder of his daughter by those described as armed robbers by Undo Police Command. The killing has again called the attention of the Nigerian government to the need to tackle insecurity and the need to fish out the killers of Olufunke. Hayodeji Muradeo, TVC News, Akure.